Hi, this is Jennifer Hansen from Stitch Diva Studios. I'm just learning how to use my video equipment to share the skills and techniques required for use in our patterns. Available for direct download online from stitchdiva.com or at fine yarn retailers worldwide. Please, if you like these videos, if you don't like them, if you'd like to see something else in future, let us know. Drop us an email at support at stitchdiva.com. But right now, sit back and enjoy the show. This is our multi-part series on working in the round. We're exploring techniques of working in the round on small diameters, small tubes. This was traditionally done with double pointed needles, which we're going to show, but we're also going to show how to do this with two circular needles and one long circular needle, the magic loop technique. Explore each of these techniques and try to decide which one works best for you. So first I'm going to demonstrate how to work in the round on two circs. And what you can see here, I've cast on uh, using a long tail cast on. It really doesn't matter. This video isn't so much about casting on as about how to work in the round. Um, but I've cast on about 17 stitches on one of my circular needles. And um, I want to now begin working in the round um, on two circs. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer half of those stitches to my second circular needle. And here it is. And I cast down about 34, so I'm going to slip 17, and I want to slip them without twisting. So, let's see, I'm not even counting. Let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 is where I've over there in a slapdash fashion. Okay, yeah, here we go. So I've got half of my stitches on one circular needle and half of my stitches on the other circular needle. And as you can see, this is the beginning of my work. Um, rather, actually, let me take a step back. I didn't say that right. If I'm going to join these in the round, now I'm going to have to start knitting. I would join here, start knitting, and start working around. So I need to, to take this circular needle and transfer the stitches to the other side so that the side where I need to join it in the round is now going to be my left hand needle. Okay. And just for ease, I'm going to slide uh, the stitches on the other circular needle somewhere near the middle of the cable so I know that they're being contained and they're not going to slip off anywhere. And now I'm going to take the other side of the same circular needle, which is going to be my left hand needle. And that's a really important tip when working with two circular needles. You're always working on the same circular needle. If I grab my other circular needle and start knitting, I'd actually be transferring stitches from one circ to the other circ. That's a bad thing. You're always wanting to work and keep stitches on the same circular needle when working with two circular needles to do work in the round. Okay, so that said, now I need to determine actually which one of these is my tail and which one of these is my working yarn. And I will do that presently here. Let's see, this is my working yarn which is messed up with my tail. Okay, so here's my working yarn. And so now what I'm going to do to join this work into the round is I'm going to pull my working yarn up here and I'm going to insert my needle through the first stitch and knit. And I'm going to try to pull it tight so I don't have any Thing. Now, what I typically do is I mark the end around, essentially, with a clip-on marker. Now, I can't use a, uh, a stitch marker like I usually would, and you'll see why in a minute, because um, the boundary of stitches, the end of, end of row is actually where you split the stitches between the two circles, so a regular stitch marker is not going to stay put. Anyhow, you'll see exactly why that is in a second. So what I'm going to do is I am going to go ahead and knit 
legs. This first half of my round on my first circular and when I get to the end of the stitches see there now it's time to switch and I'm going to just I like to keep on the needle that I'm not working I like to keep the stitches somewhere in the middle of the cable just so that I know that they're going to be well behaved take my working yarn transfer all of these stitches now up to the left hand this one got pulled a little tight but that's okay left hand needle here and now I'm going to continue do the second half of the first round with my two circular needles. Now I'm working on my second circular needle and I'm coming up, you can see here I'm coming up to my stitch marker which is marking my end around. That's where I actually started the round and that's where I'm going to be ending the round. And there, there you have it. You can see that I've started to uh, started my first round. I've completed my first round on two circular needles. And now to do my second round, I would just do more of the same. Nothing new going on here at this point. Once you set it up, you just keep going. And as you work and as your work grows, what you can do is you can take that clip-on marker and um, transfer it up a few rounds. Now this is going to go away as I keep working more and more rounds and as I'm very mindful to be pulling my working yarn tight. pull it super tight. I may not have pulled it super tight the first time. That's why you really got to make sure to pull your yarn tight when you're working the first stitch between the two rounds just to make sure that you don't get any laddering of the stitches that are between those boundary stitches between the two circular needles. So anyhow, yikes, this is how you work with two circs in the round. There's really not a lot to it. Make sure that the two circular needles are the same size. Here I've worked the first half of my second round. And I'm going to keep going. Not going to hold up the show. I'll do my complete my second round and then that'll be it for the... Just make sure again you pull your stitch rather tightly, kind of overcompensate there. Pull that stitch real tightly for those first one or two stitches so that you're not going to have any laddering. And here is my second row almost complete. I'm working up to my end of row marker here. There you have it. Looks like I, I probably wasn't tight enough here. I should have been pulling this a lot tighter. And also these stitches right here, they actually take up a lot more because the cable isn't as wide as the needle itself. So some of this slack is going to be taken up by the work, but I could have probably stood to have pulled my first few stitches tighter to avoid this kind of laddering type of situation going on. And there you have it, working in the round on two circular needles.